Well, hello there, it's Matt from London Calling. Uh, just an update, day two of the mad lockdown in a um, solitary confinement, great fun. Hope you're all doing well, um, not going completely crazy. Um, just watching the news now, they were saying, you know, about um, payments for the unemployed and the self-employed, which is more important for me. But in I don't this know how you crisis, get it, but everyone is I'm going to try, because I will need some money myself soon. Um, so they're now isolating. Yeah, basically we haven't done anything today, I've just stayed in. I'm totally, uh, I was totally whacked out because I've had sort of over a week without any sleep really. So just basically today I just crashed out completely. And um, that's good, I just want to chill out and rest. I uh, hope you're all well and as I say, you know, um, your families are all well. I've just been watching this um, voluntary thing about the NHS, I might even do that, I don't know, I'll we'll see. You know, if they want drivers, I could do that. I don't particularly want to go in the hospital because I get a bit, I tend to get flu easy anyway. I'm a bit worried about that side of it. But, um, yeah. Gets to that. That's another way of getting out of the house, I suppose. You can do things that stops you going completely mad. Um, yeah, I watched a video last night about their um, Spanish flu. Apparently, that was in 1918, but 100 million people died. And it's quite similar to the, to, to the COVID-19. It was a um, <laughs> avian flu, a bird flu, which mutated from animals to humans, and then it just Others got worse and worse and worse. Sure and um, it attacked the lungs in the same way. People basically drowned in their own phlegm. It's horrible. But it spread around the world. It's called Spanish flu, but it wasn't actually Spanish. It came from Kansas, they reckon. During the war, when the troops were removed around the world from America, they reckon it came from the pig farm or animal, as I say, a bird. Then it spread around the world and it just went like wildfire, the same as this. But because I didn't know in those days how to quarantine, how to do all this stuff, it really spread and it killed like, say, 100 million. And it actually carried on until, I reckon it didn't die out until um, 1957, so that was like, what, Jesus, like 40 years it was still going. Not as strong as it did, but it still was going. So I think it's understandable how these governments are so scared in the world, you know, why they're really terrified of this. I mean, this could, you know, potentially be the same. But uh, yeah, uh, well the only thing cancel. we can do is uh, carry on watching videos, doing YouTube or whatever you're doing, your Facebook and all that stuff. You know, I think of catching a bird and becoming a bird man of Alcatraz, maybe that'll be fun. Um, I did have a cat come up to the window the other day in the middle of the night. I was going to let it in, but um, I've had a couple, it's weird, I don't know how to get up on that balcony, but it's quite high, it's the second time that's happened. I think it did come in once and let it in, close to a few mice, I thought maybe it sorted it out. But anyway. That's inside. Yeah, um... Oh. I'm going down, Bloody cold tonight, what's that fire got? But yeah, um, you know... It's just a little update, as I say, you know, I'm going to try and keep update every day, let people know how things are going. I'm not going to look out my window now because nothing much going on. It's the same every day, really, just buses going by and... There's a few people walking about, it's not really busy. Um, you know, tomorrow is going to be a good day. I'm going to get out and do my exercise. I hope you will go for a walk, uh, do a bit of shopping. Really exciting. <laughs> my mate's still stuck out in Thailand. I don't know if he's going to come back. He's coming back Saturday, he reckons. But I heard the government say the flight's going to be cancelled. So he didn't seem to be too bothered though. He's like, all right. They give him a 30 day extension. Him and his wife, they're quite happy they're on the beach and Colac, which is beautiful. I mean, they've still got some bars open, he said. He's not bothered, he's just going to chill. But, um, I'm sure they'll get back somehow. But yeah, there's a lot of people in the same situation, aren't there, really? But, yeah. Anyway, I've got my beer in. I've got a few beers, a few Stella, and one uh, Bex. I managed to get that yesterday. So when you're in Asda, I believe it, I got their first thing and they had toilet roll. There was some nutters still in the big ones, I just took a couple of small ones. I thought, what do you know? But the fact it was there was good. You know, and the only thing I found was bad though was the tills. They had these uh, auto tills. And I can't believe it. Like these, this one, this particular ad, they're like you're next to each other, like two foot. Of, you know, you're touching shoulders. I said to the girl in the thing, I said, this is wrong. You know, it's supposed to be three foot apart, and you're six foot apart. Of course, I've got a blank dumb stare, so I just well, fuck it. Leave it, you know. But obviously, I suppose they're going to get stricter. Um, you know. So there you go.
for him, for her, like us. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing another song on my guitar about the coronavirus. Like I might do one. I've got an idea in my head. Could be quite it's funny. Oh well, it's hard to be funny, isn't it, about this? But something you can do. Fine. Keeps me busy. As well as I hope you, you know, a bit of entertainment. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is funny. Yeah, Boris has done his update tonight, so he's got to get the um, help the um, unemployed, as I said, help the, the um, disabled, help the unemployed, help the self-employed. Oh, Charlie's got it, isn't he? For old flappy ears. Let's have a look. How did he get tested, Mr. Charles? How did you manage that? Everybody else can't get tested. That's that poor young girl. She died, didn't she? Have now died, including 21-year-old Chloe Middleton from the show. You see, look, it's not just old people. Say she has Listen up, no youngsters. Listen to mum and dad. And Sky News understands more than 500,000 people have now signed up for the NHS volunteer scheme in just over 24 That's a hours. I might do it. The Prime Minister has praised the public response. Well, emergency legislation will come into force tomorrow, giving police the power to fine anyone caught outside their oh, homes shit. in groups of more than two. But police chiefs say they want to use persuasion wow. rather than punishment. Yeah, with a Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Mark White, it. on <laughs> no, policing the lockdown. On Shepherd's Bush Green oh, in West yeah, London, look. groups of more than two people oh, were man, still gathering in defiance of the Prime Minister's strict new rules on social distancing. Okay, Others we were sunbathing just a day after police were forced to intervene here to spell out in blunt terms what's meant by the stay-at-home policy. Can you all go home, please? It's not a holiday. <laughs> it's a lockdown. Which means you don't just come in sunbathe. Can you please just leave? Well, I can't see what harm Those that is. Those we spoke to didn't you're think they really, were doing anything your, um, wrong. The police are keeping away from you. Yeah, we, we don't care. We don't care. It's okay, bro. Please, you think just, you're safe enough to lie here? please stop talking with us. That's it. As you see, we are sitting just with my best friend. And, uh, I think that's a bit silly. We should be able to sort of sit on a bit of grass. About two meters. As long as you're well away from each other. I think socially, yeah, yeah, yeah. They need yeah. to get these rules sorted out. In it's public silly. spaces Some across the country, are, numbers um, have reduced. On, girl, run, for run, the most run. part, yeah. people are run, maintaining run, yeah. a safe distance from each other. Until now, police here on Shepherd's Bush Green and elsewhere around the country have only been able to explain and try to persuade people to Shepherd's move Bush. on. But this new law will now give them the power to actively wow. disperse gatherings and to find those who refuse to obey the lockdown. Despite the new powers, police still intend to tread softly unless they're left with no I think no you're choice. allowed to go out in twos, we aren't you? We will only want I mean, to you know use enforcement you, if How are they going to prove this is the trouble, isn't uh, it? But we won't hesitate if there are people who are flagrantly breaching the law. Hundreds of British transport police are on duty at <clears> rail hubs nationwide. York Station, like others, seeing a vast reduction wow, in commuters. It's quiet, isn't it? On the London Underground, outside rush hour, most passengers are still able to keep their distance from each other. Mm. Right now it's uh, empty. Uh, it's open Apparently those masks are a waste of time, it's actually worse. Between each of them. But on the London Underground, there are still significant problems during the morning and evening yeah, rush no, hours. And police are now actively trying to dissuade those who don't need to travel. That's a virus bomb, isn't it? You've got no chance if you're on uh, there. Talking to people as they begin their journey. And we've had some cases where we've persuaded people not to travel. And also in others where we've not really been satisfied with the reasons for their journey. Making it clear that we don't want to see them again tomorrow. Mm, the police know the importance <clears throat> of trying to keep the public on side. This will be a drawn out process, but they now have the extra powers they need should further restrictions be necessary. Mark White, Sky News. Let's return now to the state considered the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the US. Uh, today, time, New York Governor York, Andrew Cuomo confirmed that more than 30,000 people have been infected there and described a $2 trillion rescue package as a drop in the bucket. Jesus well, I'm joined now from Cambridge, money Massachusetts from? by William Hannage, who is Associate Professor what happened to that of Epidemiology saying? Oh, there's no magic money tree. Harvard Trees University. are made of cow. A very good evening to you. The, um, Thanks so much for talking to us tonight. Um, Andrew Cuomo, the New York Governor, came very concerned. Donkey Jews. No yesterday you described the spread of coronavirus in New York as uh, being like bitch. a bullet train. What's your assessment of the situation there? 
My assessment of the situation is I think the governor is fairly correct. I think that he should reflect on the fact that the state of New York has been doing some excellent testing in order to identify cases. They have done over a hundred. Anyway, yeah, I hope this is uh, already, you know, just a little update. 30, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, sorry about the swearing on that. Um, yeah, please um, click down on the right hand side, the little doggy or the gladiator when he comes up would be easier. There's a picture of a gladiator on the right hand side. If you click there, you can subscribe or give us a like or a dislike. And, um, you know, thank you for look for watching anyway. So keep your heads up and let's all keep our heads up if we can. But, um, be safe anyway. Thanks a lot. Matt, London calling. Bye now. Bye. Finish that off, yeah. So we're expecting there to be a huge strain on intensive care.